Are you looking for the top tools to be using in your virtual assistant business? Well, I've got a full list coming at you right here in this video. Hey, I'm Abby Ashley and I'm the founder of the Virtual Savvy. I help virtual assistants launch, grow and scale their businesses from scratch. And if you're interested in learning how to work from home as a virtual assistant, you definitely want to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every single time I release a new video. You're gonna love it here. So you just started your VA business and you're immediately overwhelmed. What the tech, am I right? So our team here at the Virtual Savvy is constantly evaluating software, software that virtual assistants can be using, what new tech is on the market. And so we wanted to come up with a list of some of the best tools that you can be using in your business. Now, I'm going to include a link to each one of these tools below this video. So what I want you to do is after I talk about them, go check them out. The best way to figure out which tech is best for your business is to try it out. Most of these different software programs have free trials. They have a way that you can test them out, feel them out, and what works for you may not work for someone else, and that's okay. Uh, when it comes to invoicing software, some of you might like Wave App, some of you might like Dubsado or HoneyBook, and which one you like the most will depend on your personality and the way that your brain works, right? So try them all out, see which one you like the most, which one feels right, feels the most comfortable to the way that your brain works, and then that's the tool you should go with. So um, we're gonna be going over what kind of tools are even out there, the type of tools that you should be using in your virtual assistant businesses, and then I'll give you some options for each one. So the first kind of tool that you're going to want to choose would be an invoicing tool. Now, I definitely recommend having some kind of digital invoicing system. You don't want people having to mail you checks or whatever people did in the olden days. <laughs> I guess it's not that old, but you don't want people having to send you checks, right? So what you want to do is have an easy way for people to pay you. You don't want to put up barriers for how people pay you. So some of the best tools that you can use would be Wave Apps, FreshBooks, Dubsado, and HoneyBook. So again, links to all of these are below. So check them out, see which one you like the most and choose an invoicing software that's best for you. One of the things that I definitely recommend you do as a virtual assistant, especially if you're first starting out is track your time, especially if you're doing hourly services, you wanna be tracking what time you're spending on what projects so you can send reports to your clients. But even if you don't do hourly pricing and you do package-based pricing, it's still a good idea to occasionally track your time so that you're seeing how long does this website really take or how long does it really take for me to manage this person's Pinterest profile. So whatever it may be, I would recommend doing some time tracking occasionally in your business. My favorite tool for time tracking is Toggle. It's literally super simple to use. And that's what it's for, is for tracking your time. Their free version is awesome. Now, another tool that we'll mention a little later down the line is ClickUp. It's a project management tool, but they recently added a time tracker as well, which I think is really cool because you can tie in your project projects right there with the time tracking. Now, if you're going to be creating any graphics or PDFs for your business, for your clients' businesses, I would check out a graphic design tool. And there's so many graphic design tools out there, even for non-designers. So there's PicMonkey, there's Canva, there's Adobe Spark. Out of the three of these, my favorite is Canva and there is a free version. In fact, I've done an entire video on Canva and why I love it so much, but definitely check out Canva. It is super, super user-friendly. Their free version is awesome. Their pro version is low cost, and it really gives you so many of the features that even some of these fancy design tools use. And so it's perfect for non-designers to do some simple design tasks. You're probably going to be using stock photos. And so even though this isn't necessarily software, uh, I definitely want to put it in this list of tools that you're going to want and need inside of your business. And those are free stock images, right? And so some of my favorite places to find free stock images 
are Unsplash and Pexels. I will link to both of them below and you can simply type in the type of picture you're looking for. So let's say I want a desk or a computer or someone writing, right? I can type that in and it will give me images of that particular thing. I'm a huge fan of using a project management tool for you and your clients just to organize your own business. The easiest one to start out with, in my opinion, is Trello. It's really user-friendly. I use Trello even for some of my home tasks for organizing cleaning schedules and things with kids. It's really, really easy, user-friendly. Now, a more advanced tool would be something like Asana. Asana is really great for team integration as well. And then probably the most advanced version, which is what we use now at the Virtual Savvy, is called ClickUp. ClickUp definitely has a learning curve, so it can take a little longer to get used to, but the amount that it's able to do is just really doesn't even compare to most other project management software. So if you're super techie and you love to geek out on tech, you could totally jump right over to ClickUp. But if tech kind of intimidates you and you just want a really simple way to manage projects, I would check out Trello. Maybe somewhere in between would be Asana. You're going to want client management tools, right? What is a way that I'm going to communicate back and forth with my clients? Some of our favorites here at the Virtual Savvy are Slack, Boxer and Loom. So check out all three of them. They have different features. You might end up using all three of them for your business. Slack is great for quick communication back and forth. You can have multiple clients right there in your Slack channels. Uh, you could do Boxer if you're wanting to, you know, have kind of like that walkie talkie, be able to voice talk back and forth with each other without giving out your phone number. And then Loom is really great for recording on screen videos, which is a way that I love to communicate with clients. I can actually show them on my screen screen what I'm talking about when I'm walking through a project. You're going to want to be able to share files with your clients. So two of the best ways to share files would be with Google Drive and with Dropbox. I really, really hope that you have a contract and that you are having your clients sign your contract. And so there's lots of different software you can use to get contracts signed. Some software that only you can sign contracts with would be HelloSign or DocuSign. I will link to both of those below. You can also use tools like HoneyBook or Dubsado, which have contract signing software inside of their project management systems, which I think is super cool. All right, which of these tools have you used before, which are totally new to you? I know I have a list of links below, so this list may seem overwhelming, but you just need to pick one in each category. So figure out, do some testing and see which one applies best to you. And then let me know in the comments what you've discovered. There's a new tool that you really, really like. If you're going to be doing social media for your own business or for your clients businesses, I definitely recommend a social media scheduler. So there's tons of them out there. There's Planoly, there's Hootsuite, there's Later, there's Tailwind, especially Tailwind for Pinterest is something that we use. Uh, there's also just Facebook Business Suite and Facebook Creator Studio, which you can use to schedule Facebook posts and Instagram posts. I think that, um, you know, that's honestly my favorite. That's what we use the most if we're posting to Facebook, uh, especially, is just that native Facebook scheduler. One of the best things you can do as a small business owner is to start creating an email list. And there's email list software that you can use that's going to make sure that you are keeping your emails organized. You can send out mass broadcasts, which you can't do in like Google, you know, Gmail. <laughs> so you're going to want to have an actual email service provider. And so some different ones are MailerLite, ConvertKit, MailChimp, Flowdesk. There's others as well. Uh, I think for people just starting out, Flowdesk is probably my favorite, um, but for more advanced users, I think that uh, ConvertKit Active Campaign is another one as well, which I forgot to mention. So uh, check out all of them. Again, you're gonna want to see which has the most features that you like, which one really fits your personality, which one fits your budget. Some of these have free options, some of them do not. So you're really gonna want to test and try different ones to see which one works best for you. If you're creating simple websites or landing pages, you can create a website on lead pages. You can create one on Squarespace. Um, you can also set up a WordPress website. And I think in that order is probably 
the degree of difficulty. So if you're really, really not techie, <laughs> Lead Pages is super drag and drop user friendly. Squarespace is a little more uh, difficult, but man, it is worth it if you're ready to dive in and make a really functional, beautiful website. Squarespace is probably my top recommendation. And then for more advanced users, if you're, again, that techie brain, then creating a WordPress website gives you unlimited functionality, uh, but it's also the most difficult. So check out Lead Pages, check out Squarespace, check out WordPress and see which one you like the most. I've linked to all of them down below. All right, I know this is a really, really long list of software that I just gave to you, but I hope that it's helpful. Here's what you need to do now. I want you to pause the video. I know I'm supposed to make you go on and listen to the next video in the next video, but you'll come back, I believe it. So pause this video and then I want you to go below. I want you to start searching through these different software tools. I want you to dig into them take some time to see which ones you like the best and choose what you're going to use for your business, okay? And if all this seems super overwhelming, don't stress. Starting a VA business does not have to be difficult. So download my free virtual assistant checklist and starter kit. It is step-by-step -step what you need to do to get your business started off the ground and running, getting clients, making money. Hey, <laughs> so make sure you download it. You can get the link right here. And if tech is overwhelming in general to you, I also want to recommend our Savvy Vault. Savvy Vault is our tech training membership site. It's just month to month, cancel anytime. You can dive in and you can jump into courses on a lot of the tools that we listed here today. We have over 70 tech trainings that you can dip into, see what you like, like, see what you don't like and actually have a course to go through as you're testing out these different software platforms. So you just started your VA business and you're immediately overwhelmed. What the tech? Am I right? Did that sound bad? I don't want it. I don't want it to sound like I'm cussing. My mom watches these. I don't. Oh, like what the. T OK, I'll just say like what the Tef is going on. <laughs> Oh, like, the heck? oh, what the tech is like, what the heck? I don't, I don't, I don't, not like. Just say, oh golly, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't even go there. You went there. Okay. I've never even heard bad words. <laughs>